Hello and welcome to the Legendary Chiropractor Podcast. I'm your host, Johnny Reuter, and this podcast is brought to you by TheLegendaryChiropractor.com, an interactive and immersive virtual platform for prospective chiropractic students, current chiropractic students, recent chiropractic school graduates, and even veteran doctors of chiropractic out in the field wanting just a little bit more from this profession. I hope that you enjoyed today's episode, and if you do, be sure to share with a friend, leave us a rate, leave us a review, and also be sure to subscribe to get more. Cairo HD, superior cloud-based practice management software. Cairo HD is a user-friendly, all-in-one EHR solution built with one mission, to help you run your practice like a boss. Learn more at CairoHD.com. Total Clinic Solutions is your go-to source for purchasing both brand new and refurbished chiropractic equipment, as well as phone support for repairs and maintenance. Call Derek and allow him to combine your wishes and his 23 years of chiropractic equipment expertise to find what's best for you and your patients at 704-622-4089 or head to TotalClinicSolutions.com now. Yo, what is going on, legendary chiropractors? Johnny Ruder here with another episode of the Legendary Chiropractor Podcast. I am coming to you live right now, and if you're listening to this on audio podcast, you're probably getting it about two, three months later, but that's okay. Don't worry. The value is still there. The content is still there, and if you're hearing this after April of 2021, please be sure to go to the Apple app store and the Google play store and download Cairo pair, which is our brand new Cairo pair, which is our brand new app for finding and posting jobs as a chiropractic student and or recent graduate. All right. So go check it out there. Now, today we're talking and continuing our conversation from last week, all about branding, social media, and how that applies to you and what steps you can take to really start to dig your feet in, dig your heels in, and build a platform and a brand that represents you well. Um, And today it's all about a niche or a niche, whatever you want to say, whatever you want to call it, but that's what we're talking about today. So a niche in a market, in a chiropractic market, is really what you're passionate about. In all reality, right? So your niche is what you're passionate about. Who do you want to see the most in your chiropractic practice and or as an associate? Because you're going to chase your niche as an associate as well with in regards to style of practice, in regards to who that patient, who that practice sees the most, right? Is it pediatrics? Is it prenatal? Is it older gentlemen or, uh, and, and gals? Is it, um, is it, you know, sports related? Is it more medical minded? Is it more icing, pumping, PT, rehab? Like what, what kind of niche do you want to be in and a part of, right? Um, but as a chiropractic student, you don't necessarily know that, nor do you need to know that, right? But what I will say is as you're creating your brand, as you are building a social media presence as a chiropractic student, I, in the last video and last podcast episode, I talked all about going live, sharing posts, sharing tips, sharing things that are necessary for people to really grasp onto you as the expert and make you a credible and trustworthy figure in the chiropractic space in regards to some of these hot topics. Now, I'm not telling you to go and talk about vaccines or religion or politics. That's not what I'm going to, that's not what I'm telling you to go talk about. I'm telling you to go talk about how chiropractic can help people, how, you know, it's good for kiddos, how, you know, um, it could be good for a hot low disc, like things like that. Um, that you can really kind of start to dive into um, as a chiropractic student and start sharing on your social media. That's really what's going to build your brand, really going to build your message and really start to create your own niche. That's what we're all about here at The Legendary Chiropractor, right? So a lot of people, like as I started this podcast episode, I, I sat here and I thought about, you know, all of the different categories that you can have within chiropractic, right? And a lot of people say, One, you shouldn't really run a chiropractic practice and or business off of personal branding, 
right? And I totally agree with that because what you want to be able to do is implement systems and procedures where if you're out of the office, someone else can come in and, and literally run your office with, without a, without a question. Um, and a lot of us aren't like that because our patients get used to us. Our patients get used to our, our sense of humor, um, our, our, uh, touch in regards to pressure and things like that, um, that we use to adjust. They get used to our techniques. Um, and so running a very easily share your passion for chiropractic and look good doing it with above down apparel offering a premium lineup of principled apparel that's impossibly soft, sustainably sourced, and chiropractic AF. Visit abovedown.co and follow them on Instagram to learn more and score yourself some sweet chiro swag. Personalized clinic and or practice is not, benefic is not beneficial in most aspects. However, when you go to find your niche, find your passion, um, you want to use your personality because you want to show up to, to work as an associate and or show up to your own private practice um, as you know, on fire as you can be, right? So if your if your passion is energy levels, or if your passion is neurology, if your passion is, you know, CBP, if your passion is moving bones, like I don't really care what it is, but if you're passionate about what you do, it's going to attract those types of people, right? So I, if you're a pediatric and prenatal chiropractor, right? Um, you're going to hopefully have a message and a brand around pediatrics and prenatal. You're not going to be promoting Medicare on your website if you want to see kiddos and young families in your office. It's just not what you're going to do. But what you can do is you can start communicating with that audience. And over time, not only will you start to run and have pediatric and prenatal following, but you'll also start to dive into your own niche in regards to pediatrics and prenatal, right? So think of that as like your umbrella term and your umbrella audience. Underneath that, you are going to start to create your niche, right? What do you find yourself mostly talking about? Is it headaches and migraines with kiddos? Or is it lactating issues with mother, mothers? Is it for infertility issues with mamas? Is it autism? Is it ADHD? Is it ADD with kiddos? What kinds of things are you talking about the most? And that's going to ripple down and trickle down into what your niche is. And then you are going to be seen as the expert in that niche and category. So if someone come, ask, comes and asks you, because you get this as chiropractors. If someone comes and asks you for an interview from like a local newspaper or a local radio show or something along those lines, don't go on the show and talk about moving bones and chiropractic, right? Go talk about prenatal and pediatric and how it relates to ADHD, autism, and all of these different things that you are passionate about and that you have seen time and time again in your own chiropractic office. That's what you go talk about because then you're sharing your passion and you're able to continue that conversation to create your own niche. Niches create brand awareness pretty much, right? So we talked a lot about in our last episode, brand awareness and brand awareness really comes down to a couple things. One is your passions. Two is getting on social media and sharing things like live videos, posts, um, infographics, a, a couple other things, right? And linking them back to somewhere that they can find you further. If you run a blog, if you run a website, if you, um, if you host a, your own domain name, I don't really care what it is that you're linking them back to, but you have to have some sort of call to action for them, right? Um, so that they can get a tangible resource when you go ahead and share whatever you're sharing and whatever knowledge you're sharing, right? Because what branding does is it, 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 yes, it creates brand awareness, but brand awareness is only good and necessary if you have a specific target audience and or niche that you're going after, right? If you don't have a specific target audience or niche, what good is it? What good is your message, right? If the right people aren't going to get it at the right time, what good is your message? So here at The Legend and Chiropractor, our niche, our target market and audience is chiropractic students and recent graduates. That's what we do. That's who we go after in regards to sharing our valuable, our most valuable, and most of the time free content with. 
Now, in regards to payment and how we sustain a successful and sustainable business um, and we're able to keep coming live to you is through sponsorships in our podcast. Um, thank you and shout out to them, but also through our job application, the ChiroPair app, right? Employers have to pay to be a part of that app, right? So we're using, we're utilizing our our platform to attract recent graduates and students into our platform so that they find valuable, tangible content. And then we're turning around to the employer saying, hey, there's a ton of students on this platform. Go check it out. And also, by the way, you're going to have to pay a small fee and a nominal fee to be a part of it, right? And it's Dr. Stu Hoffman, founder and president of ChiroSecure Malpractice Insurance, is the foremost expert in both risk management and risk avoidance. Understanding the everyday challenges of today's practicing chiropractor and the current public perception of chiropractic has made ChiroSecure the fastest growing malpractice insurance program of the last 28 years. Find out more at ChiroSecure.com. Imaging Services' primary business is chiropractic solutions. With over 45 years in the industry of helping chiropractors, Michael Tokash offers free consultations on building your business. In the past year, Imaging Services has installed over 100 x-ray machines and digital x-ray systems in over 42 states across the United States. For more, head to theimagingservices.com. Dr. Brad Glowacki runs one of the highest volume, highest profile, highest profitability practices in the world. And it's all run with vitalistic communication procedures. Those procedures from his office are then shared with other chiropractors at his various trainings as a part of level up mentoring. This information is created, developed, tested, and then packaged simplistically before being taught. With bruises and scars from making mistakes, Dr. Glow always delivers refined content that is battle-tested and simplified for use on Monday. To level up your life and practice, head over to levelupmentoring.rocks. That's levelupmentoring.rocks. And it's totally reasonable because now we're not screwing candidates and recent graduates out of what they're doing. We're actually giving their, them the platform for free and we're actually charging the employers. Now, why is that relevant? Because it's important to understand your audience, right? Our biggest thing and my biggest thing is I went through chiropractic school. I know and I knew and experienced that the chiropractic student audience who I'm talking to right now is the most underserved and oversold to audience in the entire world. I, I would put it up against any single other audience out there in the world. With that being said, I don't wanna be another person taking advantage of the chiropractic students and recent graduates. I want them to take advantage of us as a company and be able to utilize our services and our products for free while charging employers who have the money to actually front the cash for the services and products that we're offering, right? So it balances out, it washes out. But why is that important to a niche and branding? It's because when we communicate to you as chiropractic students and recent graduates, we are always emphasizing free, 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 free because our products and our services are free to you, right? And that's important to us because that goes to show and build up our niche even more and our target market and our target audience even more. So I'm very transparent with this stuff. Why? Because we've started from nothing and we've gotten all the way here and we have a following of over close to 3,000 students at any given time, right? And that's a lot in the chiropractic space. Not a lot of people have that student in recent grad following. But how we did that was respecting students and recent graduates, not taking advantage of them right? Pouring in value to you guys, making sure that you understand that what we say and what I say on these videos and podcast interviews is that you can take this information and we call it a tangible resource because you can literally implement it tomorrow. And that's what we're all about here at The Legendary Chiropractor. So find your niche, start sharing your passions, start branding and creating brand awareness for yourself as a chiropractic student. Get on social media, get on Instagram, get on Facebook, create business, business logins and accounts and pages so that you have that moving forward. You can always change the name from student intern to doctor to 
you know, your practice name someday. I don't really care what you do or how you do it, but I want you to have that brand awareness created prior to applying for an associateship and or pl- uh, applying it to your private pr- practice someday and going out and serving your community because they're going to look you up. You just got to be ready for it. I love and appreciate you guys. Again, I'm your host, Johnny Ruder, and you're listening to the Legendary Chiropractor Podcast. Thank you so much for tuning in and thank you for engaging with us on all of our platforms including, but not limited to, Facebook and Instagram, all at The Legendary Chiropractor. Be sure to check our home site out at thelegendarychiropractor.com as we have much to offer for prospective chiropractic students, current chiropractic students, recent chiropractic school graduates, and even veteran doctors of chiropractic out in the field. And lastly, I'd like to thank not only you, our listener, but also our podcast sponsors, Without them, this show wouldn't be possible. So I encourage you to go check out their websites and what they have to offer in the show notes for this episode. Thanks again. Stay legendary, my friends.